here in the Star City, a modern day impressionist doesn't just paint starry nights. Greg Osterhaus's use of color and composition turns subjects such as an ordinary cow into an extraordinary masterpiece. I'm Madison Madden, and this is Artistic Encounters. Greg, thank you so much for joining us today. I love your work. It's, uh, it's beautiful. How did you get your passion? Where did you really start with your interest? Uh, it kind of started on its own when I was young. I always enjoyed being handed crayons and paper or clay or Play-Doh or whatever it was that, that was uh, something you could work with. Um, and uh, that never went away from me. It just morphed into from there into painting and pottery and drawing. And, Things like that. So you continued on with that. Did, did, did you go into college knowing you wanted to be an artist? I didn't know. I, I, in fact, I thought I, I probably shouldn't go into art. So I did a uh, compromise and I went into architecture. Okay. I got a really good um, design background through that program. Right. Um, they were ranked nationally and probably still are. Um, so for a year and a half, I got a really good design, solid design background there. And then when I switched into the art program, um, I was able to apply a lot of those lessons to what the professors were telling me in the, in the art department. At what point did you decide this was going to be your full-time career? Uh, I worked day jobs for 16 years. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, and uh, in, in towards the end of that span, I, I realized that the, the opportunities I had to turn away for lack of time to paint uh, were more lucrative than punching a clock somewhere, so I made the switch. Uh, my wife was not really comfortable with that, but you know we, we made it work yeah. eventually. So, when I look at your work, I see an impressionist style. Is there a certain artist that has influenced you throughout the years? In there have painting? been several. Yeah, um, Wolf Kahn, who uh, just passed away recently, unfortunately, um, had a long and uh, very successful career as a landscape artist. Um, he was very influential to me. Um, the, the French Impressionists and the American Impressionists, um, also very influential. Um, I don't try to say, okay, well, I'm gonna do contemporary or I'm gonna do any particular genre. Um, I, I feel that, that uh, uh, Contemporary sort of covers a lot of ground. That, that might be the most effective thing, term to use, though, if you had to pick one. I love, I love in terms of that with the colors that you really go for. Talk to me a little bit about the colors. Uh, just spending a lot of time painting, you, you try a lot of different things and, and learn from mistakes, and, and uh, you also learn your preferences as far as color goes and uh, composition and a whole variety of issues. Um, so. Uh, you know, you just you just sort of pay attention, do the work, and and uh, and hope for a good result. And where can people find your work? Um, well, right now today we're here at, at Lindor Arts. Um, I'm in several places all over Virginia and out of state too, in Maryland and Roswell, Georgia. Um, I've been trying different locations for 30, 35 years now. Um, some are more successful than others, but uh, um, I. I'm very thankful for the the, the uh, support that I get from the, the Roanoke area um, patrons who buy my work. Well, as we're closing our time together, tell me what you hope when viewers look at your work, the emotions that they, right. they come to feel. Well, I'm not aiming to control anybody's emotion. I, I, I <laughs> Happiness happy. is what I would say. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy if they're happy, though. If they see some element of joy, mm -hmm. um, uh, if it reminds them of land, if it reminds them of um, if they're more tuned, attuned to the um, artistic approach that I took, it doesn't matter to me. I just want it to touch them on some level and be of interest to them emotionally on some level. I don't try to control that though. Sure. Well, Greg, thank you so much thank again you. for joining us and thank you all for joining us as well.